Hi everybody, welcome back to Music Moose. Um, now in this um, segment, um, before we start picking, pretty soon we're going to be picking on the banjo, don't worry. I'm going to just tell you how to place your hands uh, on the banjo and uh, the positioning of your hands and, and as well as the banjo yourself. Um, now when you're when you're going to be learning I'm, I'm assuming you're going to be in the front of the computer uh, so find yourself a comfortable chair. Um, I have armrests on this chair but you should probably use uh, uh, just a straight chair with no armrests just to get yourself comfortable get yourself up on the end, on end of your chair and just sort of uh, place the banjo like you see it here in your lap uh, at the, at the, with the uh, neck angle is so, wherever you're comfortable. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to talk about the right hand, is you're going to bring your forearm and you put it against the, the armrest. Remember the armrest from the beginning? And um, now we're going to anchor our right hand onto the banjo head. Now how do we do that? Now I use two fingers to anchor my right hand onto the banjo head. I'm going to be using my pinky and my ring finger and I put them together and I put them both down on the banjo head. Now if you can't put your two fingers together like that right now on the banjo head, you can if it's not comfortable, you can pick up that that um, a, a ring finger on your right hand because I have to tell you, when I first first started learning the banjo, I had a really hard time trying to keep that that ring finger down on the head. It just wasn't comfortable for me until after a while, I just kept kept at it and try to try to get them both down there. You see, but it's very important to be able to get those two fingers on there. Or, or, or like I said, at least the pinky, to have some stabilization to keep your right hand from moving around, you see. Now, you want to place uh, your two fingers, your pinky and your ring finger, about oh, half an inch uh, uh, away from the bridge, okay, and about maybe a quarter of an inch away from the string, away from the first string, you see, so you can you don't want to have your, 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 your fingers touching the, the, the first string or touching the bridge because remember that bridge, that's, that's the transfer of sound and vibrations. So when you put, if you do put your fingers on the bridge, that's just muting the sound of the banjo. So what you want to do, again, about a half an inch away from that bridge and maybe a quarter of an inch away from the strings. You see, and kind of position your hand like, like so. if you can get you know, a visual of that. And also you want to try to, if you can, sort of, sort of arch your, uh, your wrist to where just a little bit so it comes around and, and you want to, when we're starting to pick on them strings so we can hit them strings evenly, you see what I mean? But again, to have that anchoring point so your hand doesn't be flailing around, you know, to have that stability. Okay, now on to the left hand. And, and I'm going to turn the banjo just a little bit and turn myself. Now, when, we're, when your left hand, when we're first starting, we're just going to take our left hand and sort of cup it up against the neck. Just, just, just lightly. And you can see that in between my, my thumb and my index. It's just going to be just cupped in there a little bit so we can have position to start being able to fret the banjo. You see, so again, just lightly, and again, you get your uh, get all set up to be able to start picking the banjo. I want to see how much time we have left here because we want to try to keep these videos uh, um, sometimes within a, a certain uh, time frame so we can get the best quality for you uh, on the net. 
so I think I'm just going to leave that, uh, leave it at that for this segment, uh, just so you can get comfortable just, just with the, with your own banjo. You know, like I said, just get it in your lap and get get yourself all set up and try to get those fingers on that head, at least the pinky, like I said, before we can start picking. And I'll tell you what, we're going to start our our first uh, banjo roll, is what they call it. Um, we're actually going to start picking the banjo in the next segment. So thanks again, uh, everybody, for joining me, and uh, I'll see you next time right here on The Moose.